What's up guys? It's Mike. It's Dan. And it's something that you should not believe in. Exactly. Because it's not true. It's not true. But most people like myself have always wondered this. So when you ride a plane, what happens if you don't turn your phone off? I've well, always they tell you this. this, right? They're like, please turn off your phones mm -hmm. and set it on airplane mode or the end of the world's going to happen. I never questioned it. I just always do it. Yeah, I, because it made it sound so serious. They're like, oh, you got to do it. Otherwise, it's going to interfere with the communication and our plane's going to dive to the ground. You want to, you want to, you want to be soaked in the ocean? You yeah. want to dive into the ocean? But that's what most people think. Right. Without any proof. Like if you just go up to people right now and you ask them, yo, what happens if you don't turn your phone off? They'll be like, uh, you might crash. <laughs> like most people would Well, they don't that. know. They're, they might not be crash. They might be like, okay, the communication might be messed with. I don't know. Yeah. Like, uh, what happens? I don't know. Because w the flight attendant, they actually do, what do they say? They're like, they're like, or it might interfere with the airplane's right. instruments right. or communications. So basically this article is talking about how it actually, it won't make the plane go down. Of course. It, we all knew that. We all knew that. But I actually, I mean, I, I wondered. No, I wondered. I just was never. You never, sh I you never, never like left never your phone it. on. No, you never left it on. Always you always turn it off. Cause I'm scared. I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be that guy. Like, let's say the plane doesn't crash, but like there's some electronical fair, failure. And it's and, your fault. It is my fault. I don't want to be that guy. You kill like a whole plane full of people because you wanted to play like Pac-Man. Yeah, or, or whatever. Like people, I always, dude, I'm so good about it. Like take it off. Yo, and I'll even tell, I'll even, like if I'm traveling with my mom or my girlfriend, I'll be like, turn your phone off. Really? Yeah, I'll be like, turn your phone I off. I never turn it, turn it off. Actually, I never, ever turn he it off. tells me to do it too. We're both, she's like, turn your phone off. We're like, turn well, your she, phone off. She doesn't want to die. Yeah, neither of us. So basically what this article is talking about how Originally, back in the day, well, first of all, it's saying that it's not gonna, it's not gonna kill you, right? Like, at most, airplane pilots says that at most, it's just annoying. But, but it's so, it happens so little. This one pilot said fit, they fly like say 50 times a month. They'll, they'll hear the annoyance once or twice manifested in the electronics, where you know, how, like sometimes you, you, your cell phone rings and it's next to your uh, TV or something, right? And you hear that like, bzz, 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 yeah, that sound. He'll say it only happens like once a month, so that's the most it'll ever happen. And he's saying, and they're saying that most of the time it's a crew member that that's that has their phone on. Even they're basically like even the crew members have their phone on. Yeah, like like if you're walking around New York and because you're not supposed to talk on your cell phone, yeah, what do you see? People. Well, I mean, just police officers on their cell phones oh, yeah. all the time. All the time. It's yeah. always the like, yeah, you know, the authorities are like, yeah, you know what? And they're saying that now the technologies of the airlines and the airplanes are so good now that um, some airplanes now even have what's called a pico cell, uh -huh. and it's basically it's a size of a ream of paper. So it's basically this big, and it's its own satellite cell tower mm -hmm. on the plane. So it can actually. Well, it's necessary because right now, like you know, who knows when something might happen where the passengers in the cabin might need to call someone exactly or do something. Yep. But here's one here's one little wrinkle though, right? So even though the technology is getting better and eventually, like if you think about it, people can talk, people will be able to freely talk sure, on airplanes. Sure. In America, the FCC uh, hasn't lifted the ban. There is an official ban on like airplane. Mm -hmm. you, it's banned yeah. since 1991. You can't you can't do it. You can't talk on it. Well, electronics wise you can't talk on it. But they're basically saying that it it will interfere with the comfort of the passenger so they haven't lifted the ban. And I, and I totally agree with that. I cannot stand, cannot stand when people talk on airplanes too loud. Next I can't even stand, like I'm kind of glad that New York City, our subways are kind of cell free. Oh, most absolutely, of the time. Absolutely, dude. There's only like a couple lines. If you guys don't know, you can you cannot no. get signal in, in, uh, in New, New York, York subways. Which is actually most of the places anyway. Right. Like, except for the up ground, up ground routes. Most New York subways, you cannot, like you said, cannot, which is actually a very untechnological right. advance. If you think about it, Because right? when I was in Taiwan, uh, Hong Kong, full service on Everywhere. cell phones. But no one was talking on their cell phones okay, there, but, because people were respectful. Yeah, but can you imagine though, in, in like the US, if you can all yeah. talk? Yeah, like, New York can especially. Can you imagine? You, you give them permission to talk in New York. If you guys never been to New York, I'll tell you this about New Yorkers. I'm kind of a New Yorker now because I've been here 12 years. I'll tell you yeah, guys right now. Yeah, you're New you're, Yorkers. They are a mean. Yeah, you're mean, dude. <laughs> they are a mean bunch of people, and they will literally, <laughs> yo, 
if you can get the New Yorkers' ability to talk on the subway, they'd be like on their phone all the time. Like, blah, blah, blah. And then if you say something, they'd be like, yo, fight. What's, what? They're None of fight. your business. P people fight on the airplanes already where you read about stories where uh, somebody, so-and-so, right. wife, girlfriend doesn't shut up and two guys will get into a fight. You read that already. And so, yeah, fighting on an airplane 20,000 times worse than yeah. fighting like on a subway. Because that's what's gonna happen. I mean, look, it's one thing you're traveling on a bus, say New York to Boston, four hours, whatever. It's bus, it's loud. You're on an airplane, dude. So please, like just for the sake of the passengers, I would never wanna see this ban lifted. Like it's fine to know that you can use one in case of emergencies, but please do not make it so that people are just like freely Hey mom, I'm almost there. Check out, like, I, I, I'll go insane. I'll literally go insane. Well, hopefully people won't. Uh, but then, you know, we just want to let you guys know that if you are one of the few that are thinking that the plane might go down, but come on, can't. No, there's no You're way, because okay. like, you know, they can't. Throughout history, like, you know, a lot of planes would have gone down if that, people just left their phone well, on. So. I, yeah, that's what I actually used to think. I yeah. go, if this is going to interfere with the plane, how come we don't see planes yeah. crashing? And that's why. So anyway, it's safe, guys. All right, but you probably already knew that, so just wanted to confirm. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. See you later.